guys, it's Teresa. So I decided that I was going to do, I don't know if I would really call it a series, but I got the new Sephora catalog and this is for fall 2011. Cover looks like this. And um, I decided to start off with this look, a silver gradient sort of thing. So that's what I did. Um, so if you want to learn how to get this look, keep watching. Okay, let's get started. So first we're going to start off with is our Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Just a little bit on the lid and along the lower lash line. Just like that. And then we're also going to take some other um, sort of eyeshadow primers. Um, in the picture it looks kind of like um, the model has a gradient of silver kind of like I do here. So first I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and I'm going to put that this on the inner part of the eye, top and bottom. And then I'm going to blend that out with my finger. Like that. And then I'm going to take this um, artist brush and I'm going to take this uh, Cinema Secrets, um, kind of like a, like a silver paint sort of thing. Um, if you don't obviously have this, you can use the uh, Make It Forever uh, Flash Palette. And there's a silver color in there. I'm using a brush because um, this stuff is going to be pretty messy. And I want to be pretty precise with this. So I'm going to take some on the brush. And I'm going to put this next to the white, sort of overlapping, but not all the way over. Because we're going to put black on this outer edge. I'm also going to take this just slightly into the crease, but not very high up, just a little bit. And then next I'm going to take a different brush, because I don't want to cross-contaminate my cream color bases. I'm going to take this artist brush, it's kind of got a pointed end, edge, so um, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some tape on because on this side I had to do a lot of adjusting with the edge and I wanted a sharper edge. So I'm going to put some tape on. So we'll take this and I'm actually going to take NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. This is my depotted one. I'm just going to take that, as you can tell, on the tip a little bit. Because we want enough on there for a good base, but we don't want a lot. So just on the tip. because we actually need to put the same two cream colors underneath the eyes and I forgot. So I'm just going to take whatever's left on this one and put that on the outer half of my eye. And then if you want you can blend these out and just And we can fix this line, sharpen it up afterwards because we're going to need to anyway. Okay, now I'm going to take my MAC 213 brush, and it looks like this. And I'm going to take my um, e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and just spray my brush a couple times. I'm going to take my Silver by L'Oreal Hip Duo in the Platinum, and I'm just going to take in this bottom corner, so that I don't uh, mess up the rest of the shadow and just get that area damp with the shadow. We're going to put this all over. So you have this general idea. 
which is still not what we want perfectly. So next, pencil brush. I'm going to take this Sephora eyeshadow um, in Aspen Summit, which is a frosty white. And we're going to really make this uh, silver gradient stand out more. So I'm going to take that and put this on the inner corner area. like so. Next we're going to do the black. I'm going to take this uh, pointed crease brush and I'm going to take the black from the duo we used originally and um, I'm going to start doing the outer corner. Okay. So it's not perfect yet. So we're going to take this blending brush and I'm actually going to take Max um, eyeshadow in bamboo, which is if you don't watch my other videos, or if you do watch my other videos, you know that this is like my favorite transition color. So it's this one, and yes, I need to get a new one. But I'm going to blend this top edge. So I'm just going to get some of that on the brush and blend this. basically got that eyeshadow done. I'm going to take my um, Stila Smudge Stick in Stingray and I'm going to line my tight line and waterline. So I've got that. Next is eyeliner. I'm going to take um, Max Black uh, Fluid Line and Black Track. I'm going to take my MAC 209 brush I'm just going to do a wing liner, as you see on this side. So now because this silver is such um, a pigmented color, I'm actually going to take this liquid liner by e.l.f. This is the waterproof eyeliner pen, and I'm going to kind of intensify that black right along the curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'm actually going to apply these lashes. These are the Ardell Hotties and I will be right back. We got that done. Now it's time to kind of bronze the face. In the picture, I don't know if you can see this very well, the eyes are the focus. Gorgeous. So everything else is pretty natural. So I'm just going to do some bronzing, simple bronzing. I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer and my 168. So we're going to do some light contouring, just very light. Next, dog. Next, using Margin by MAC, the blush. I'm going to use my 129 brush and just very little. We have enough glow, like shine going on with the eyes, so we don't want to really put a highlighter on. So for lips, we're going to go with something very natural. And it kind of looks like they lined her lips a little bit, so we're going to do that as well. This is the Metallic Lip Liner by Mary Kay, so it's kind of a bronzy color and it goes with the whole um, metal theme. So. Then with Cream Sugar Lip Gloss, I would prefer to use Beach Bronze by Mary Kay, but they can't seem to find it. It's a lot warmer, not so, like a light, I don't know. That one would be perfect. But we're going to use this one today because it's the closest thing I have. Let's finish look. I hope you all enjoyed this and you learned something new about the whole silver gradient thing. It was fun for me to figure it out just by looking at a picture too. So um, I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye.